Well, good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas day nine. It is 10.20 a.m. I got a little workout in, I had my morning work call, and I had to stop to make my cup of coffee. It is recycled coffee again, but that's okay. Waste not, what not, y'all. Plus the pumpkin stuff really does hide the old coffee taste, I'm not even kidding. So far, our only plan for the day is work, and after that, the world is ours. Yup. I gotta just show you what my work from home view is. We got the tree, we got the fireplace, ugh, I just... What a treat. Hey guys, so it is 11.47 and I gotta be honest, I could not even wait till noon to have some lunch. So I just whipped up a quick air fryer chicken, buffalo sauce and some panko breadcrumbs with some iceberg lettuce and I just tried to make my own little like aioli dressing with a little mayonnaise, frank hot sauce and ranch seasoning. Give it a try. How should I do this? I guess I'll dip in the sauce first. A little buffalo bite. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Wow, this is bomb. What a surprise, honestly. Bon appetit. Hello everyone and good morning. It is Vlogmas day 10, 8.48 a.m. in the morning here in Los Angeles, California. And today, I thought we could just do kind of like a makeup quarantine morning routine type of vibe. You know, typically I don't wear any makeup. I literally just brush my teeth make some coffee, get to work. So that's what we're doing. I'm literally fresh out of bed. I just made coffee and brushed my teeth. The hair has not been brushed. So let's start from the beginning. I know you're supposed to start at the bottom and then make your way up, which I literally just did not do. Put the fire on, but you can't really see. Tragic. And now my hair is brushed. If I do happen to have a leftover mascara on my eyes, then I will use a makeup wipe. I typically use Neutrogena. I like the purple packs better. They've got like the calming essential oils. And it never all fully comes off. And I've accepted that, which is why I have God, residual mascara for like months of my life. But this is the best we're gonna do today. I've got a morning call I gotta make, but we gotta speed this. Next up, I got this clarifying facial mist, which I just think is a nice little wake up type of thing. Next up, I use this Belief Water Essence. I actually got this quite a few years ago, also at an event in LA. Also their Hydration Balm, or their Aqua Balm uh, Moisturizer. Next, because my lips just can't even, I put on lip balm. I don't know what it is. Oh, focus. This is a free chapstick I got from my dentist. All right, so that kind of ends the skincare portion of my quarantine morning routine. And then we've got four products for like the makeup fun section. First one is the Maybelline New York Dream BB Fresh, I think it says. There's a tag over it, so I don't know. Anyways, let's apply the BB cream. And I do have a full on like makeup routine. It's an ASMR video if you guys are interested. I just don't want to put like heavy foundations and stuff on my skin unless I have like something planned. But if you guys don't check it out, you can. Otherwise, these are just really light, breathable products because <laughs> we're not going outside. Yeah, so I really like this. It's kind of reminiscent to me of the Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Foundation. It just feels like the light version of this. And this is already a very light foundation, so that's pretty cool to me. Moving on. I'm just using my hands for all this. Next up, I do have this Instant Age Rewind. Wasn't about to order this again when I ran out because it's like one product for Sephora paying shipping seems silly to me. So instead, when I went to CVS, got this, which my friend Beata recommended, and it is like the same thing. It's crazy. I mean, I guess it's not. You hear that like all the makeup conglomerates are made by the same people. Don't know if that's actually true, but I did hear that. So it makes sense that I'm finding all these like great products and these dupes. So fun fact, I could put concealer under my eyes all day. I still have bags. I don't know what that's about. So yeah, I just feel like with those two products, at least, you know, it might not be like the great contouring work of Kim Kardashian herself, but it does give me kind of a fresh face vibe. Last two things I do, I just, I love this product. Oh man, I wiped off the label. This stuff is called Gimme Brow. Oh shoot, now I'm not gonna know my color because it wiped off next time I wanna buy it. Great, lovely. Okay, so we just kind of, I can't tell if this is going everywhere because I'm not looking in a mirror. I'm looking at the camera. Oh, it's not bad, it's just my, Eyebrow itself needs to be tamed. Finally, 
we've got the mascara. I don't really wear eyeliner in quarantine. I just kind of go for this because it gives me like a little lift in my eyes. Again, like the only mascara I've been using for like 10 years. Don't quote me on that. At least like seven. I've been using this since I moved to Los Angeles. Oh my God, have I been here for seven years? Six years, almost seven. Oh my God. And that is my quarantine fresh face, skincare, makeup routine. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. I have a really awesome vlog planned for tomorrow. This is fun for me. I hope you guys are having fun and comment down below if you could only use one beauty product for the rest of your life, what would it be and what would the brand be? And until next time, I'll see you. Oh my God, do an ASMR. Until next time, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.